everyone. Um, my name's uh, Glenn Beauchamp. I'm the uh, founder and managing director of a company called Beecham Group. Uh, here in Perth. Um, I've been working in the, uh, the Perth ICT market and uh, over in London uh, and Europe for oh, nearly 20 years now, so um, just a couple of, couple of years as they say, or a few moons. Um, thank you very much for, for having me and certainly for, uh, for giving your time up on a, on a Friday night. Um, I'll try and make this session as, as interactive as you would like me to make it. Hopefully uh, for all of you, you can go away with at least two or three specific things that will be quite targeted and, and tailored to you um, to help you with your career and, and job search. Um, I predominantly work uh, in the what I would describe as the SME and the ME sector, so the small to medium enterprise and enterprise sector. I do a lot of work with startups uh, and I've been presenting at a universities uh, since late 1990s. So I actually had someone at a place called Space Cubed a couple of weeks ago come up to me who's you know now uh, a very successful ICT person said, hey Glenn, I know you. I remember when you came out to Curtin Uni and presented and um, talked to me in about getting a job and those sorts of things as well. So hopefully um, that will be some of you uh, in the not too distant future. So um, um, yeah, through some of the different things we can talk to you about here. So I'll, without further ado, I'll um, get started and run through a couple of things. So I always put this slide up first um, while I've got everyone's attention. Uh, you're all sitting down, we're all in a room. Here's a nice easy one in terms of some takeaways uh, for, for today. Come on in. Easy done, hey Max. Have a grab a seat. So, whoopsie. One of the main things I'd like to talk to you about, and just it's going to try and sow the seed, and you'll, you'll hear this, see this, read about this a lot, is understanding the difference between what a career is and what a job. And a, and a job is not a series, and a career is not a series of jobs, as it were, all mashed together, right? It's really, really important you think about every opportunity that you take and the reasons for it and how it's going to validate your career. And it's particularly relevant now for people who've traditionally worked in the mining and the resources sector that have basically jumped, taken the money, went out on contract and they've been unemployed for the last six to nine months because effectively they've stuffed up their career. Sorry, I, I'm quite candid by the way when I speak too, sorry. Um, I always have a bit of a joke when I talk to people about um, university and I fondly, I went to Curtin University, so for, uh, for those that, you know, different way, um, I used to say the university it was easy but um, life is harder but you can make it fun. And one of the other big takeaways I'll, I'll talk to you about today too is successful people are ones that are able to think, take things that are quite complicated or may seem quite complicated at the start and simplify it. They take the drama out of it and they just make it easy, right? Finally, one of the things I want to talk to you about, because I get asked this question a lot at the moment, is can I, can I catch up with you and have a chat to you about the market? One of the things I'm going to briefly talk to you about today is to be able to take that discussion point or conversation or, or what have you out of, out of your heads, because the market should be irrelevant. What I want to talk to you about are some different ideas and some strategies to think and understand trends, market initiatives, what's happening, it has its place, but to a degree, what it means to you, it's irrelevant because you're always employed and you will always be employed, right? And that's why we talk about future proofing yourself. The big thing is, and, and I obviously see faces that, you know, from uh, obviously people from, from different backgrounds and what have you too. Um, it's a bit of a out there, but I say, you know, don't be a victim. The PMA is about what's being a positive mental attitude. I was a graduate. Um, it took me five, six months to get my first job, uh, and I can talk to you about, you know, that experience. It's bloody hard. You got to keep. You got to be persistent. And one of the, the tough and key things about it is having a positive mental attitude. And one of the big things about it is don't be the victim. All right? It's not. Don't take it on board. The other thing I want to talk to you about um, quickly is, is basically is the cliched expression of three, three certainties in life. I put change first, right, because it's, uh, it's out there. Um, but one of the things I'll talk to you about is being a life learner. So one of the great things about, and coming back to my earlier point, university is not over. Um, that learning experience that you'll have and the continuation of that learning will be with you for the rest of your life. Right? And I strongly, strongly encourage you to maintain that in a formal and an informal sense. 
The other part we'll talk about obviously in the joke around um, agility, which is quite topical at the moment. Agile, whilst it's used, used obviously for a software development methodology, right? Um, the context that we're talking about is change and innovation, right? You know, it wasn't that long ago that you know mobile phones weren't around, right? It wasn't that long ago there's lots of technologies and things that we're doing now that are disrupting how we traditionally work weren't around, right? So the speed of change, and particularly in the sector that you're in now in IT, has enabled that in a massive way. Finally, you know, think about innovation, and I put this, this up at the moment because unicorn seems to be that, um, that term that's um, talked about a lot, right? So, uh, and it's a bit of a tongue in cheek. One of the great things about IT is that there's always a new acronym and there's always a new buzzword, right? Be it cloud or this or whatever the case may be, right? And obviously, death, uh, taxes, and of course, the old uh, mortality, right? So, the thing, and one of the main things to take away for today, guys, is the fact that your career is your full time job. Right? So you might be a software engineer, you might end up being a business analyst or the CEO of your, your own company or whatever the case may be, but it's really, really important that you take the time to understand what your career is all about, where you're going and where your direction is, and then how that all translates to what you're doing from an employment perspective. Um, the key thing that I talk a lot of people about is the fact that some people don't take accountability and responsibility for themselves. Um, it's always someone else's problem uh, or my boss or whatever the case may be. BS, it's not, it's you, and it should always be you, right? Um, build a genuine network, so a lot of the eyes and faces and people that you're talking about here, and I'll talk to you about some strategies is there. And finally, of course, I just talk just generally about just partner with specialists, whoever that might be from a recruitment perspective or others in the market, it does work.